to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going through the steps of how to mix one litre bottles of Fuji Hunt C41 chemicals at home. Uh, we're going to just run through the entire process from start to finish. We're going to start with the developer. Each part of the developer is mixed with 300 ml of water. Uh, you can do the temperatures between 20 and 30 degrees. I've got this souvet that I got from Amazon that I'll leave the link below. So I've got my temperature sitting at 28. So I just take bottles from there into here. What you will need is four one litre bottles, each one with a label for developer, bleach, fixer, stabiliser. So to get started, we'll just start with part A of the developer. So what you want is 300 ml of water. So we've got 300 ml. And then what you want is 70 ml of part A. So you just pour that into this here. And you just get 70 ml here. And then all you do is mix part A with the water. Then once you've got it in there, I like to just give it a little stir. And that's part A done. So part A can just go straight into the developer bottle. So that's part A done. And then you just want to rinse out this just to get rid of any chemicals that was in it. And then we want to do part B. So part B is 9 millilitres of chemical and 300 ml of water. So now that I've rinsed this out, I'll use this one for the water. So again you want 300 ml of water. And with this you want part B, you want 9 ml. Now I've got this little thing here that I bought from eBay, I'm pretty sure, and that goes from 0 up to 20, so it allows you to get the smaller increments. So you just get, slowly pour it in until you hit 9mm without trying to go over, and then you just put the 9mm into the 300 and just rinse that out because we need to use that again so I'll just put it to the side and you give part B a stir and then you want to just add part B into your developer bottle the next stage once you've done part B is we move on to part C of the developer. So part C is 18 mils. So to do that again, I'm just going to use this because I've rinsed it out and because it's got smaller increments. So we'll slowly fill this up until it gets to 18. And then Using the water again that I took from that, you want 300 ml of water in there, and then you just want to take part C, put it in with the 300 ml, give it a stir, add that into the developer tank. And that there is all the chemicals needed for the developer. So you can put the lid on. I like to just give it a little shake once that I've made it, just to mix it all together completely. And that is the developer part done. So I can just put that to the side. Now we want to go on to the bleach. That's the hardest bit. Mixing the developers, the hardest bit because it's got three steps with the Fuji hunt. Um, 
Uh, so we've done them, and we've done them, and the bleach is 500 ml of bleach with 500 ml of water. So what you want to do is make sure all your containers have been rinsed out again, and then we'll start on the bleach. So I like to use this, like I said, it keeps my water at 28 degrees, so I don't need to worry about it. I just take the water from that into the bottle but you can use tap water as long as the water is between 20 and 30 degrees you're going to be fine it's just a wee bit easier to do it this way for me so with bleach you want 500 ml of water so these things from Patterson go up to 600 so you can just fill it up to right there where it says 500 with your water you got to make sure that it's pretty spot on, so mine's just a wee bit over. So just pour a touch out. That's 500. And then what you want to do is take 500 ml of bleach and pour it into your other one. There you go. Then we've got 500 ml of bleach. And we've got a five we've got a litre bottle here of bleach that we're gonna we've marked up I've marked mine up before because I've used mine. So what you want to do is it doesn't really matter what order, I just like to start with the water. So I'll just pour my 500 ml water in. All of the links uh, to this stuff will be in the description below if you want to pick any of it up. Then all you do is add the 500 ml of bleach. And that's it. This is the bleach done. So now you can just put the lid on it. Do the same as what we did with the developer. Just give it a little shake. And then I'm going to rinse these out. And then I'm going to come back and we'll do the fixer once I've rinsed these out. The fixer's a wee bit different because you need 800 ml of water. So what I do is 400, 400 and use my third one for the 200 ml of fixer so I'll just start with the fixer by pouring that in and getting that to 200 uh, and that's there 200 sorted and then what we want to do is just fill each of these up with 400 ml of water again this is 20 to 30 degrees Anywhere in between there will be fine. Just got the 400 for, that for each of them. Four hundred. Now what I do is just pour the 200 into one of them. It doesn't really make a difference, not that I've seen on any of my development that it makes any difference to which way you pour it in. So once you've got that in there, all you do is pour all of it into your fixer bottle that's labelled up. So once you've got that in there, add the rest of the water, the other 400. So that's 800ml of water and 200ml of fixer. What I have is a diagram that will show you exactly how much in parts and I'll leave that in a link below as well and you can download it and use it and it's pretty much what I've used the entire time that I've done this and then I just mix this up inside the bottle and that's your fixer done put that to the side and then we're on the last step the last step is a stabiliser and then what we want to do is we want to get a stabiliser, a small one and we want 10 ml of stabilizer with 990 ml of water. So again, you have to use all three of these uh, containers. So what you want to do is get 980 ml of water. Now I just take it again from 
my tank here, I use this for home development as well because it keeps the temperature of the water ideal for the chemicals. So if you're going to if you're going to be getting into this, I recommend that you pick this up just to make your life a lot easier. So that's about a litre there. So then what we want to do is what we want to do is 980 ml. So we'll do 300 in one, and then 340 in each of the other ones. So 300. and then we'll do another one for 340 as well. And then, again we'll use this, the smaller one, because it's only 10 ml. It's a lot easier to measure out than this. So we want to get 10 ml and then we'll just pour it into one of the beakers and give it a stir and then we want to put it into a bottle that we've labelled up as stabiliser. There's no order really, I just pour any one of these in. And then again, we'll just add the rest of the water. Then that's the entire process. So you've got your stabilizer, 980 ml of water, 10 ml of stabilizer. You've got your fixer which is 200 ml of water, no 200 ml of stabilizer and 800 ml of water. Then we've got a developer which is three parts, all the parts are mixed into 300 ml uh, and the image below will tell you how much of each part goes into each bit. Then we've got the bleach, 500 ml of bleach, 500 ml of water and that's you. You just need to keep these stored in a dark place. I like to keep these in my cupboard along with the chemicals just so they last longer. Each batch should last you roughly six weeks is what I give it. Um, I do quite a lot of development and I've never had any problems. I think it can do a good amount of rolls. Like you, you probably run out of time and you will rolls. So I recommend you just change it maybe every month and a half to two months and that's you. It'll save you a lot of money doing it this way at home. I will have a video coming soon of how to develop at home for the entire process. So this is, start, this is step one of how to do it uh, and the next video will be how to develop at home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.